This is my R36S. And I was playing around with it today and I noticed that on the DS emulator, okay, it's running drastic. So when you start it, you go to the game, right? And it automatically loads to full screen. And I was wondering how do you go from full screen to another screen or to double screen? What can you do? So I actually wrote a small list of stuff that you can do with it, but if you press on the R2 button when you're on the game, what it does is it switches from one screen to the other. So right there I'm pushing R2 and it'll go from one screen to the other. If you press the L2 button, it'll switch to double and single screen. If you are on double or on dual screen and you press on the R button and the R2 button, it'll go from vertical to horizontal. Okay? And if you push on the M button, it'll swap side to side and if you are on vertical let me see here. and you push the M button it'll swap them top to bottom the other thing that I found out is that if you push on the left thumbstick you get the drastic menu but look at how tiny it is. I cannot read that. Even if I try to zoom in, let me see. That's the closest I can get. But right here, it gives you the option to uh, change some of the settings. The ones that you're probably gonna need the most are gonna be the load and save states so it will allow you to load and save your state go back to the game if you want to or you can actually configure if you go to change options those are some of the options that you can configure and if you go to video options there's some other stuff there that you can configure I'm not gonna mess with it I'm just gonna leave it like it is but I'm glad that I found all this out and I hope that you find this helpful let's, let's just exit out of that and I had already been playing with this as you can see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load a state and that's where I was so now if I want full screen all I do is I hit the L2 button and if I want to go from one to the other I hit the R2 button and you can move the character with regular and if you do the actual right thumbstick it'll bring up the it'll bring up the uh, cursor or the stylus so you can actually play it like that too. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm just gonna take it out. But in case you use a game that needs the stylus, you would use the right thumbstick. All right, so hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I will keep on making videos instructional videos for little stuff like this and uh, my name is frank and thank you for watching 16 bits or higher 
see you in the next one